We've managed to find the legendary Nokia 3310 from the time when it used to be a regular cell phone. And now it is totally epic. Its durability is the stuff of legends and its battery life can't be compared to actual smartphones. At the beginning of the notice there were a lot of interesting mobile phones and each of them had its own interesting feature. For example, here is a phone with its own bottle opener. I have no idea who that genius inventor was. And this one is pretty die hard, so you can crack walnuts with it, without a single scratch. Besides, all these phones didn't give a damn to falls and hits. And all this awesomeness is in one device, Nokia 3310. We got a great haul, our Nokia was even not unpacked, and the seller said that it was stored for 20 years. Just listen to these sounds. It called loudly enough to wake the dead. And of course, those legendary games are nostalgic. We all remember the very classic Snake. I played it for hours on my granny's mobile. And I can assure you that it's not worse than all new games on state-of-the-art smartphones. In comparison with an iPhone, Nokia looks much more practical. To do an experiment, we spent 3 days using the iPhone to see its average battery working time. And we found out that the iPhone died approximately at 6 pm every day. Also, we spent 3 days with the Nokia, using it as actively as we could. And in 3 days time, 40% of the battery was left. And now we decided to check the main feature of Nokia 3310. We all know how durable this cell phone is and how many memes there are about it. Such tiny challenges definitely won't damage our patient, so we prepared more interesting ones. For starters, let's check what will happen to the cell if it falls out of the pocket. Nothing special, it's still solid. Hmm, and the asphalt too. What about the myth that Nokia 3310 can be used as a hammer? Wow, seems it is real, and a few scratches are not a big deal. Then we decided to throw Nokia a bit higher. Oops, didn't catch it, things happened. It fell into pieces. But after putting them back together, the phone was still ok. This was expected. The next test will be tougher. Throw the phone at me! But this was ok for it too. Nokia wins 3-0. I bet an iPhone wouldn't survive. But even if it did, how about falling from the 18th floor? This is a height of 1 and 50 feet. <laughs> what a ban! It is unlikely to work. Although the battery is still inside. Hmm, let's try to move the contacts. And it turns on as if nothing happened. Yes, there are a couple of scratches and some plastic parts are broken. But as for me, it could have been way worse for such a fall. And what's totally impossible for a modern smartphone to survive is being run over by a car. But for 3310, absolutely possible. <laughs> to my surprise, after going through all these challenges, Nokia is still alive. So here is the ultimate one, water challenge. We made a call on Nokia to figure out how much longer it would live. Let's give it a bath. I was sure it would die in a few seconds, but it's holding up. We could even see the air bubbles. But at one point I felt sorry for my poor Nokia. But suddenly, the call stopped. The reason? No SIM card. 
There was a little water inside a slot, so we took it to pieces, wiped them, put them back together again and voila, it's functioning. Long story short, the Nokia MEMS make sense. It is really unbreakable and its durability is amazing. I really love this phone. And you? Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and watch another one that is on your screen. Bye bye!